this is basically going to be a kind of a part two to the video, to my last video. It's not going to be an official part two, but it's on the same topic. So if you haven't seen the last video, you should probably go check that out. But in case you haven't and you're still watching, uh, we're talking about Star Wars Battlefront, mostly one and two. Mm -hmm. But we're also going to offer some suggestions to uh, what they could do to make the third game better than the last two. A lot better. Yeah, I mean, the last two were pretty good, we think. Uh, they're both first-person, well, third-person shooters, really. They had a first-person shooter mode. No one cares about it. But no one uses it, and it's not that good. Both Battlefront 1 and 2 was on the PC, PS2, and Xbox. Uh, Battlefront 1 came in uh, 2004, and Battlefront 2 came in 2005. Um, Battlefront 2, personally, um, was the, the first game that... I've ever like actually paid attention to and I actually bought whenever it first came out which was fifty dollars so we, we both were very interested in the game when it came out we both really liked the first one so we got the second one as soon as we possibly could uh, but what what were your favorite maps uh, Dune Sea the um, the snowy type maps pretty much in, in uh, the rest of Tatooine Mos Eisley as well Mm -hmm. that, I mean, that, that's pretty much my favorite maps yeah. in a nutshell. The only one I really have to add to that is you, you left out the Bespin Cloud City map. That's true. How could yeah. I forget that one? Yeah, man, it had an epic air battle going on. While, while, while there was a really intense ground fight going on, it, it was a really well-constructed map, I think. That, that's one of um, the best maps for split-screen, really. Because yeah, you is. got you got uh, each side in a condensed area just going at each other. Not CQC, it's like a big open area, but really, really narrow, wide. And you can actually buy the troops, and even though it's easy to buy them, it I mean, it's just a nice add-on that they at least thought of. And, I don't know, the, even though there's only one battle on each planet, the, the whole idea was just more... Then if you have a Jedi in the middle of it, you... I mean, it's just nuts. Absolutely nuts. Yeah, so, so we both had some good personal experiences with the mm -hmm. first two games. Smooth. Mm -hmm. And less... I don't even know what I'm saying. Less condensed, I guess I could say. So you mean like they're more... Uh, we, we both had a ton of fun with the games. Yeah. Like, like, it's just pure fun. Anything set to Star Wars is already guaranteed to be kind of fun. Mm -hmm. This game These games really, were made pretty well. It's like the icing on the cake. It's just really, it really yeah. sets the mood for you. Now, you played the multiplayer like a tiny bit, yeah, right? For about 10 minutes. Yeah. What was it like? Pretty much, uh, what are they called? Are they called ARC Troopers? I forget. I know. The blue people with the bazookas. Yeah, the rocket launcher, dude. Yeah. That's pretty much what everyone was. There's just rockets flying everywhere. Every yeah. now and then you see a, a jet trooper, but it was pretty much all bazookas. Yeah, so that sounds like it was actually kind of lame. It was very lame. That's why I've only played 10 minutes of it. Yeah. But the, I, I love the Galactic Conquest, personally. I'm more of a split-screen person. Yeah, uh, I'm, it, I mean, I, I played split-screen in this game pretty much more than I did any other game. But I, I still kind of preferred the Galactic Conquest to everything else. It made me feel like I was actually like progressing through like a little miniature story. Now, I will say I like Battlefront 2's. Galactic Conquest a lot more than the first one. There are more worlds. Yeah. It's just... And ended longer. It dude. makes you feel more like a, a general in charge of everything. Yeah. Saying, go here, go here, go here. And you actually have a ship. And, and there's space battles. Exactly. The other big pro was... It, I, I felt like it really captured the feeling of a Star Wars universe. It felt like you were actually kind of there. Like, like you said, it felt like you were a general. Even though I liked the first game's Galactic Conquest more. Mostly because you had two battles on each planet and I like the kind of bonuses that you had for each planet. Mm -hmm. uh, despite that, you know, the second one captured the Star Wars universe a little bit better in some ways. I think Because actually, of the space battles. Now, I'm not saying I like the space battles a ton, but just the fact that there were space battles made it seem like it was more it was more like a real war. Because mm -hmm. a real war wouldn't just be on planets. I think you see space battles in every single film. The but. first one captured the Star Wars universe a lot more because Jedi, unlike the second one, is actually really hard to kill. From my personal experience, yeah. I've played this game for hundreds of hours, if not thousands. I've only killed a Jedi once. Once. In the first game? Yes. Not counting throwing him off the cliff on Cloud City. Do you know how you would only have like 15 troops left? Yeah. And he would every they can't get in vehicles and you don't have a Jedi or anything yeah. like that? Um, whenever I saw that we still had like 100 or so troops left, 
whenever I saw him go to the ground and his lightsaber turned off, I was so happy. Yeah. It was just... No, but that, that's another good thing. You're right about the Jedi. I kind of forgot about that. Now, I, I really don't know which one captured the Star Wars universe better. Because now you're actually right. Because the Jedi were a lot better in the first game. I didn't like the Jedi at all in the second one. Although the no. mode on they had on Moss Eisley, where it was all oh, yeah, Jedi, yeah. the all that, Jedi fight was that was fun. Was but I think the Jedi atmosphere was it was too easy to get Jedi. At least on the PS2 version, it yeah. was. We we both way played too PS2. Easy. Way too easy to become a Jedi. It was just anyway. You get two kills and you're a Jedi. Yeah. So now now we're into the cons, which is pretty good. Yeah. Now here's the point. The point is that. We're still hoping for Star Wars Battlefront 3. I already made a, basically a part one to this video about that. But there are so many things that they could do better. We're, we're mostly going to talk about how, they, how it could be better from the second game. Mm -hmm. So, like, they need to make the Jedi better. Pretty much. I mean, the first game, I would say in the first game, they were overpowered. Yeah, they were definitely overpowered, but yeah. I think it was better. But... It's, it's better to have them be overpowered than to have them be underpowered. Yeah. Because when they're underpowered, it just is lame. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'd rather have them go back to having the Jedi be like the first game. Yeah. I mean, preferably they could do something in between, kind of closer to the first game, but not quite that mm -hmm. powerful. Um, they also need to have the Jedi, if they do go to the first game's route with the Jedi, they need to have them a lot smarter. Because let's face it, yeah. Battlefront 1's well, Jedi were absolutely retarded. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the problem with the whole AI. Yeah. That is probably the number, in my opinion, that's the number one problem. And let's actually tell them why it's your number one problem. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, we were playing a split screen battle in Galactic Conquest. And it, it was super close. And I think I had something something like three guys left or yeah. something like that. And he had literally no health left. And I was the only person. Yeah, he had one guy left. It was him. He had no health left at all. He had like 1% health. He also had no ammo left, I don't think. <laughs> you, you had like a pistol, right? Yeah, I only had a pistol. Yeah, he had a pistol. <laughs> He had no grenades, no assault rifle ammo, only a pistol. He walks up right behind my guy, one of my guys. He just starts shooting my guy with a pistol. And he literally just stands there. Yeah, no, and it's, it's not like the pistol's powerful or anything. If you've played the game, you know the pistols are horrible. They take like 20 hits to kill someone. Yeah. And he took out my guys, all of them, without any of them responding. And it's not like they're all far, far apart either. They were all near each other. He took, he took out there, one of my guys. There was one of them that were shooting at me, but remember how like they kept missing? Oh my god. <laughs> Their aim is like... <laughs> it goes everywhere. It, Gosh. Well, but that that's... Well, that, that's like whatever. Maybe they did it so you could feel like an elite. Yeah. Kind of like a boss from everyone else. I don't, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. But the main... My main complaint was... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it goes everywhere. It, Gosh. Well, but that that's well, that, that's like whatever. My main complaint though <coughs> was that one of my guys got killed with another guy right next to him and the other guy didn't notice. And it's not and the guns don't have silencers, they aren't quiet. They make a ton of sound. And there's no stealth mode. Why on earth didn't my guy notice when the guy right next to him got shot 20 times? And it was the most frustrating thing ever cuz he he only took one hit. And my three guys couldn't hit him once because they wouldn't respond. And, and it's, it's not like it's an isolated problem either. It happens all the time. It's mm -hmm. happened to both of us. And it seems like it happened specifically with the Empire. Yeah, the Empire. He was the Empire and I was the Republic. My AI uh, was... Rebels. Right, sorry. My, my, um, my troops w were definitely stupid, but nowhere near as stupid as the Empire. <laughs> I know. I mean, I know the Empire like the bad guys and their standard foot soldiers weren't that smart in the movies, mm -hmm. but I don't think they were intentionally doing this. I think the AI just sucks. And again, it's, that's not as obvious when you're in the single player. Yeah, So the single, Yeah. I mean, the single player, Galactic Conquest, that's all really good. Don't get me wrong. Galactic Conquest is a great game mode, but the split screen has horrible AI. I mean, all, all the AI should be better for every mode. Let me tell you about our Galactic Conquest experience. We're both equal players. I mean, we're both equally gr good and all that. But whenever we both went up e e against each other in Dune C, he would always win. About half of his troops would be fighting the Tuscan Raiders. More than half. And they would all be dying. Strategically, it makes all the sense in the world because your force was strategically split in half. Mm -hmm. Not quite equal halves, but it was split into two parts is the point. Mm -hmm. So you guys were fighting the Tuscans. 
But you actually had fewer troops on that front than the Tuscan Raiders did, because you had a couple troops fighting me. Yeah. So if they had 16 guys fighting you, you had maybe 10, let's say, mm -hmm. fighting them. And your other six guys will be fighting 16 of my guys. Yeah. So, of course, you're getting slaughtered on every front. There's no way you could win. And you're probably thinking, why don't you just take out the Tuscan Raiders? Trust me when I say that the Tuscan Raiders, they're actually smart. They actually hear you when you're coming up to them. They actually help each other. And they're darn hard to kill. They're, they're yeah. hard. And by the time you kill them, your rebels... They're at yeah. near 100 or below, and the Empire's still near like 200. Yeah. It is impossible. If one of you can actually win as the Rebels... On Against DC, another human player who doesn't suck. Who, who is equally as good as you, please post in the comment section, or like, yeah. j just tell us. And that's probably the worst example of an unbalanced map. Mm -hmm. But there are, there are others that are unbalanced. Moss Eisley, if you take over the bar... Um, yeah. That's pretty much the game right there. Whoever controls the bar wins. As long as you can hold it for like two or three minutes, you'll gain mm -hmm. a major advantage. Which is what I would always do. I would always run straight to the bar when we would play Galactic Conquest. If I held it, we'd win. If he would take it, they would win. You know what's it's also really unbalanced? Um, the um, Separatists and the Clone Troopers and all that. Yeah. They have these droids with shields, and then you have some people that can slowly fly up. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, the droidicas aren't too difficult to take out if you if you really know what you're doing, mm -hmm. unless you're fighting a decent human player. Again, in the single player, these flaws don't come out that much. They really don't. Because, you know, the, again, mostly because the AI is not that good. Mm -hmm. So it kind of balances out. It's kind of funny how it works. It's like they didn't test the split screen to mm -hmm. see the problems yeah. themselves. I mean, to be fair, the split screen is a more minor mode. But this is one of this is a game that's really that can be really fun when you play it split screen, mm -hmm. or it can completely fall apart. And I mean to put all of the cons and everything together, this game is it, it literally just seems like a beta to me. It, yeah, it kind of does actually. And don't get us wrong; it's it's a beta to a really 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 good game. Mm -hmm. But like there's some things that just aren't quite right. And the second game, it's weird. It seems like the second game, I would have to give the exact same score if I was reviewing it as the yeah. first game. Because they improved some things, but they made some things worse. Mm -hmm. It's like, they, 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 they just couldn't get it all right. They, they got rid of the maps. Instead of fixing yeah. them, they just threw them away. Like, they were too lazy to even try to fix them. Mm -hmm. And then they replaced them with just not fun maps. Yeah. And then... That, then they know, made the Jedi just, a lot worse. Yeah, like we already said. the second one's just not as fun personally. I I yeah. just have much more fun I, playing. The I first like one. the first one a little bit more. Same, but I think that's a matter of opinion. I mean, if someone says they like the second one more in the comments, I don't blame them. It makes perfect sense to me. You're it's entitled all, to your opinion. Yeah, it, it, it's all about what matters more to you. Do, do the Jedi matter more, mm -hmm. or do you really like the space fights? Don't get me wrong, though. Um, I think it's called Hunt. The oh yeah the, yeah um, they the Boston Isley. Things. Where it's all the the special players. That's that, actually the, assault in most the, in the second game. Right. Sorry, but um, the hunt, the assault, and all that, those are really fun. And there are some hunt missions that are really fun too, mm -hmm. <laughs> if incredibly unbalanced in the second game. Yeah. But luckily, it's just for fun. Like, remember the rebels versus like the abominable snowman things? Oh yeah, <laughs> that was hilarious. You could literally wipe out two hundred and fifty rebels with like ten. Of the yeah. things, whatever. That was fun, and I really like the option they did where you can actually increase the amount of uh, reinforcements you have. I mean, literally, yeah. you can have a game that that can last for multiple hours. Yeah. So, in summary, the second game has a lot of improvements, but also got a couple things wrong that the first game got right. So, what they should do, like let let's just go through everything that they should do. There are a lot of things they can make better. And it would, I mean, it's a really strong core experience. Don't get us wrong, the games are good. But if they made these other things better, they'd be like game of the year. Mm -hmm. or I really think if they good. really just took their time and money into making a Battlefront 3, fixing everything and adding all these great options, it'd be a huge hit. Yeah, but speaking of that, I'm worried about Battlefront 3 mm -hmm. because it's changing developers it's taken so long yeah. I don't feel like they're using this time to make the game good I don't think they even started making it honestly so they need to make the Jedi more like the first game but not quite so strong balance the maps but put in all the old maps mm -hmm. that, that they took out it's maps a simple fun. idea but they need to add it in also a really good comment that I saw in my last video was um, customization they should add in a little bit of player customization. Oh, that's true. There is absolutely yeah. no customization whatsoever. Yeah. Make your own type of unit uh, and change the color. 
Yeah. And then you, you kind of lead your own unit like throughout a campaign. And it would be good. The campaigns need to be better too. The second one actually, had a, you can't even really call them campaigns. It's just the first one's not yeah, a campaign. Yeah, yeah, you you basically just go planet to planet to man, to planet from the actual movies. Yeah. But the, I will agree. The second one's more a lot more of a campaign from yeah. the first. Five o first is mm -hmm. pretty cool. Three things, like two things, really they got to get right. The third thing was the Jedi. If they mess up the Jedi and they do the other two things, it'll still be all right. Yeah. Balance the maps, make the AI good. There's no reason that the AI had to be so bad and the maps had to be so unbalanced, even on the PS2. Let me tell you something. If, even if you haven't played it and you do plan on getting it, um, really just look at the maps. Get a friend of yours that's, that in, that's actually the same experience as you and just play and look at the maps really from a perspective from above and see how the maps are designed. You'll see how bad they are. Yeah, in fact, the game is really good. It comes with a map, like like an in-game in -game map of each level. Mm -hmm. When you're picking a command post to spawn at, mm -hmm. and you can see, it's like, uh, for example, on the map that we were harping on before, the uh, Tatooine Dune Sea, it's like, here's the rebel base, uh, here's the Tusken Raiders, and here is the Empire. Yep. Well. I'm the Empire, I'm just like, hey guys, hold up. And <laughs> we let these guys Literally. kill each other. And told the rebels to have like 10 guys left. And then I'm like, get them. He's it's even over. tried to actually take over the Tusken Raiders. Yeah, I tried with to help me, him. With me, with me. We yeah. were working together. And after a while, we did kill him. But by the time uh, but it But my ended, troops wiped out his army without me. Mm -hmm. So We only had one base left. He still had 100 people. I only had a couple people left. Yeah. Dune Sea is just unplayable, even though it Basically. is the funnest map. No, it's so much fun if you're split screen on the same team. No matter, then you can win. If you're on the same team, you can win as either side. Alright, let's wrap this up.